here for the U.S. Wait, is this really going to be like... <laughs> Let if he says it, rock he again. <laughs> okay, cool. They don't say the same opening quote. That would be great. <laughs> All right, so Ogawa on the left in the green Zato. Marlon Pike gets the first hit. And Ogawa summoning a neutral, trying to get some pressure started. Wow, pushed himself right back into the corner. Marlon Pike in trouble already. Yeah, so the trade there not in Marlon Pike's favor. Ogawa with the resummon. Oh, he's got that pressure. Here yeah, it comes. Now it's Ogawa, or, uh, Marlon Pike on the offensive. <laughs> Dead angle whiffs. Good block on the triple overhead. Oh, but oh, gets caught man. the second time. Can't block it all, baby. All right, luckily for Marlon Pike, Eddie did run out, so there's no unblockable setup here. Just going to be pressure. Oh man, but he takes the raw jump in. Oh, Marlon Pai trying to get out of the corner, but getting tagged multiple times there. So what we were saying, you know, you really don't want to be on the defensive in this mirror match, so Marlon Pai really struggling to get out of that corner. Exactly, it seems like once he's put in there, though, he's like you said, he's getting the worst possible chance of him getting out. Oh, that could have been really bad. And again, Ogawa summoning Eddie in neutral to try to take the advantage, and it's really working out for him here. All right, stuffs that 5D, though. My right, great air throw to switch sides into the corner. Um, now it's Marlon Pai with the positioning. Doesn't get anything else off of it, but he's got Ogawa on the ropes running away. Wow, never mind. Yeah, Ogawa here. playing possum. Yeah. Oh, catches him low, and yeah, Good Marlon Pai barely able to burst out. Has a shred of life left, gets nah. tagged, and that is it. Ogawa with a quick game one. Is he in fly mode when that? Because he cannot block when he's in fly mode, so he just got kind of tagged there. Wasn't looking, I guess. I kind of feel like, you know, in a, in a match like this, especially with these two people, you're just going to see a lot of instinctual moves going on because, you know, the mirror, mirror matches classically are just not very, you know, the best time for anybody. Yeah, so. it was interesting there to see the uh, maybe slight difference in playstyle. Ogawa being much more willing to summon a neutral mm -hmm. and risk losing Eddie or have, you know, Eddie meter drained and, and lose the advantage that way, but it really worked out for him because both times he did it at the start of the round, he was able to push Marlon Pai towards the corner and get him locked down into, into some pressure and turn it into a mix-up. Right, exactly. And, and also, like, you know, if he lost pressure for a moment, he was also okay with that. He seemed a little more reserved in his uh, approach if it got interrupted by anything where Marlon Pai just kept going in and in. And we saw he got counter hit out of a couple things because of it. All right, so Marlon Pai is going to run back the mirror match. Hey man, when you're feeling it, you're feeling it, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, when they are Marlon Pai able to kill Eddie, but at what cost? Gets hit by the counter hit. No jump in there. Gets the grab, though, in the corner. What's he got for him? Yeah, Marlon Pai trying to mix up Ogawa. He does catch him low. Ogawa chooses to burst. Not having any of that. And here's what I was talking about this neutral summon. Marlon Pai playing it a little bit differently this time, flying up to the oh, top of the screen to boy. avoid it. Our first danger time at top eight. First one who flinches loses. Oh, accidental oh. super. Oh man, I can't really do much about it from that angle, from that range though. So. Oh, oh no! All right, man grabs, gonna get the knockdown in the corner. Dead angle whiffs. Once again, I got it back enough. Catches him with the counter again. Well, I just cannot get out of this corner. All right, gets to Nibiru. Another counter hit Nibiru. That's that big. one might be close to stun. That's big. Don't get touched again. All right, gets rid of that little Eddie. Oh, couldn't quite get up there. Oh my god, just play it safe. Ogawa just too high. All right, Ogawa, one round away from taking the set. Got the first hit again. Okay, this is going to put him in the corner. Nice conversion off the counter hit air to air. Just kind of let him out. Or he rather was able to dash out. Oh my god. He tags him again. Nice, kills Eddie. Marlon Pye not going to take any of that block shot. Great knockdown. And now it's Marlon Pye on the offensive yet again. Oh no, turns around, kills Eddie again. He is not letting him even get anything set up. Marlon Pye is reacting to the summons perfectly. Ogawa's shop is closed. Trying to bait the burst. Ogawa too smart for that though. Gut saves his life. Wow, runs right into that jump deep. All right, and Marlon Pye with some key adjustments there, killing Eddie twice. Playing the neutral game a little bit better, avoiding getting locked down into pressure. Marlon Pye not out yet. Mm, Great nice 6P. P. Good block. With Kills crap. Eddie again. And he gets the drill, but unfortunately hits him out of the air, so no knockdown. Counter hit Nibiru. Ogawa on his heels, had to burst that. Marlon Pike get another knockdown. Ooh. All right, he did kill Eddie with that burst, but lost a good chunk of life for it. Wow. Actually, yeah, he did. Uh-oh, in the sandwich pressure now. Marlon Pike's going to have to block this out. Resummon, great reaction, jumps out. Oh, big damage. Oh, and it's just enough. Just enough, man. Jeez. 
Ogawa would have been able to RC that, maybe get one or two more hits, but didn't need to. And Ogawa takes it, advances on, unfortunately. Eliminating Marlin Pies. Yeah, eliminating the only US. Well, let's give it up for Marlin Pie, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, again, a great showing by him. Top eight.